And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, mm -hmm. which is upon the face of all the earth. And that's a cut in itself. Because I ain't too far removed from the weed. Right? I'm about seven years off. Hold on, wait, 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 bro, bro. Don't go nowhere, bro. Stay right there. Uh, don't, don't, don't go nowhere. Uh, okay, don't go nowhere. So listen, that in itself is a cut. The weed that they grow today, last time I checked it, don't have seed. It's not coming out the earth. It's not even natural. So even if you wanted to make that your argument, that in itself cuts that argument. <laughs> look at it. I grow my <laughs> Now look, hey, but listen. And it got seed. But listen, but listen, but listen. But I'm, but I'm just, that's just one of the cuts. I'm talking about mainstream. No, it's all good, bro. It's all good. We're dealing. we dealing, but I'm gonna, we going to get you off of that. Read that. Which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. No, it should be to get your buzz on. For meat. No, it should be so you can get ready to eat that meat. For meat. No. Hey, bro, listen. So listen, bro. You can't leave that early, bro. We just dealing with my man. I see you got something in your head. What's that, bro? Yeah, what's that? No, 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 and yo, yeah, bro, come on, bro, we, this is what we talking about right here, this ain't nothing you just walk off for, bro, I'm gonna come back and let him know, just tell him, tell him come here, come over, he ain't gotta know, so look, let's deal with that again, read that, and God said, behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. What do that mean? It shall be for meat. Yeah, exactly. So let me ask you this: Do you make weed sandwiches? Nah, bro. Do you sit up and make weed sandwiches? Huh? No, bro. No. Hey, the scripture say, hey, get get Proverbs fourteen and twelve, bro. You know you Israel. Yeah. But Sean, you need to come up off of that, bro. I'm gonna hit you with something too, bro. Yes. Y'all full? Are y'all full vegan? No, we are not. No. Y'all need to be I mean, he's vegan. He's vegan. He's full vegan. See, that's what I'm saying. We trying to get there. He's full vegan, right? Both of them. No, bro, you ain't trying hard enough. Hey, look. I, hey, look. Hey, look. I do eat some vegetables. But do you skip days and not smoke? Hell no. No! So that means I'm trying to be a vegan more than you trying to be sober. Read that. Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12. Read. There is a way which seemeth right unto man. The Lord said it's a way which seem right unto a man. When you hit that, you see, you say, I'm getting my chill on, I'm relaxing, I ain't hurt nobody, I ain't doing nothing wrong, so it must be right. Read that. But the end thereof, but the end result of our people smoking too much, drinking too much, what is going to be? What's going to be the cause? Are the ways of death? The ways of death. We know that on the on the actual pack, it tells you could cause cancer, could do this, could do that. Right? Erectile dysfunction. These are things that what are associated with smoking. So what we're trying to get our people to do is understand this. We understand that you're going to have issues and it's going to be struggles. But what you got to do, Mashamba, you got to come and be amongst brothers who dealt with that demon. We put it off. We can show you. I need to not to No, but listen. I ain't going to, I've been, honestly, I swear to God. Uh-huh. I'll put my hands to the most time. I'll put my hands to the most time. I have to understand like, I know that these things don't have to take it myself. Like, we all come to the truth and all No, but I'm going to show you something, though, because I heard you say something. You funny, too, or something. So the scriptures tell us particular things that got to happen in our process of repentance. You can't just lean to your own understanding. Remember, we just read that it's the way which seems right to a man, but the end result is death. What we're trying to tell you is that if you continue to smoke while knowing you're an Israelite, that's even more pressure on you. The Lord is putting even more responsibility on you to stop. Because clearly he gave you that understanding for a reason. He didn't give it to you so you could just sit on it and, you know, tell somebody here and there, sound intelligent in a local conversation. No, he gave it to you to change and to change everybody else. He didn't give it to you just for you to sit on it. You clearly a special brother. 
the simple fact that you know you Israel and can comprehend it and get it shows that you was called. Now you gotta understand, am I chosen? The only way you're gonna know you chosen is by starting by doing this. Watch this, read that. Hebrew chapter 10 and verse 25. Yeah. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. To what? Together. That's the first thing you gotta do, Mashamba. You gotta assemble with man that then put off these different things. That pray to the most high for understanding. That pray to the most high for discipline. Now you got what? A roadmap on how to stop those things. I dealt with those things before and I saw how to put them off. I seen how to put them off by what? Taking heed to these scriptures, bro. Not just what I want to hear, right? Well, watch this. Read that. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, huh? as the manner of some is. See that? He said, as the manner of some is. Right now, you fall in that category. You fall in that category by default. You, the Lord said, you know what? I'm going to make sure this brother know who he is. I'm going to give him some understanding. He's going to be able to read the scriptures and see clear as day he is Israelite. And he didn't give it to you just to throw it on the ground. He gave it to you to do what? Remember, the scriptures say that when you light a, a candle, what do you do? Do you put it under a bushel or do you put it to where it can be raised up and give light to everybody else? Which one? So guess what you doing when you saying, well, you know what, I spoke to the Most High and we kicked it a little bit and he understands that I'm going to get myself right. You know what you're doing? you putting all that light and all that understanding that you got, you're putting it up under that bushel. And what's going to end up happening? You're going to burn down the whole damn house. Because you ain't helping, you hurt. You either a part of the solution or you part of the problem. Especially knowing who you are. But watch why another reason that's important, bro. Watch this, read that. But exhorting one another. Now you hear that? That's why we're here. Right now we're exhorting. It ain't, it ain't time for me to get on you. The scripture said to build and plant. Right? Throw down. You are the only thing we going down now is the fact that you cannot smoke and be a righteous man. You can't. Now you can deal with it and fight it and eventually put it off. Right? But you can't just sit in your sin and say I'm good because I know this. And I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but I'm speaking more because this is gonna go out to thousands of people that might need to hear this. That's in your situation. You see what I'm saying? If I was to see you, I'd be like, brother, he's just another nigga. Dreads and a beard, that don't mean nothing. The average Negro got beard with juice, with damn shrimp juice and pork juice dripping out of it, right? But when I see the when I see the, the cigarette, I'm like, oh, that brother don't know who he is. That's a damn shame. Let me go teach his brother. He don't know who he is. This brother, another lost. That's what we gonna say when we see you, even if that ain't the case. But now, if we were to start saying them friends, we start saying you come and, and get counsel. Hey, man, I've been dealing with it. I I stopped smoking weed, but not these damn black and miles, man. It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard. No, 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 look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, that'd be how it go. You're going to work, work one at a time. Right, but look, that's the whole thing, and that's what we're trying to get you to understand. It's a process. Yeah. It's not something you stop. But how long, let me ask you this. How long have you knew you was an Israelite? I've been going Right. I'm saying like since I was a kid, since I watched JJ when I was 10 years old. Okay. Get no form. I seen the black chief the world. Okay. Okay. And it hit you. How old are you? Okay. So that was around your time where things were making sense when you saw it. Especially if you was asking questions about the murder. I already knew. You know what I'm saying? When he was talking about you because he was black. Uh-huh. Yeah. So now let's just think about that. I'm saying when you okay, when you when you dealing with the most high, when you deal with it on the on the realm of your own understanding? No. You let him read. Physical and spiritual. Physical, what's the what's the physical part that I'm talking about? Give me uh know where you at and get first God to him. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you we're dealing with the most high. You got physical, you got spiritual, right? I'm going to show you the physical. I'm going to show you the physical first, all right? That's a good question. And I, and I hope I ain't cut you off, but I, that's it. I feel like I knew where you was going. Watch this. Read that. First John, chapter 2 and verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. A liar. The Bible said that when you say you know the Lord and you're dealing with him, but then you don't keep his commandments, the Bible says, now listen, listen. The Bible says 
that you a liar. Now, granted, you might keep a couple, but I can just point out a couple right now that you're probably not keeping. And that's not, what we try to do is build brothers up. And we meet you where you at. So you know you Israel, now it's time for us to attack your sin. Someone else may go through the curses, so on and so forth. Now we can go through those in particular situations, but for you, bro, you need to change. You have to change. You can't be around here with the, hey, brother, how you doing? Hey, bro, how you doing? Hey, come here right quick. Let me talk to you for a minute, bro. And that, we need you for brothers like that. So now when we see him, you might be able to catch him. I might not be able to get through that, brother, but now you might be able to get through that, brother. But you're not giving your nation enough time and care to say, you know what, I'm going to stop. Not because I just want to stop. I might want to keep doing it. But I'm going to make sure that I'm doing it for my nation. But watch this, bro. Because this kind of fits you right here. You know you've been in Israel for a while, right? Watch what the Lord say about brothers like that who know they're Israel but not really willing to take that next step. Watch this. Read that. Job chapter 4 and verse 3. Behold, thou hast instructed many. So you done instructed many. I guarantee you done told many brothers that they Israel. Right? The Lord ain't gonna let your carcass go while you up here, man. Oh, uh, okay. What, like your equipment and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, the little, yeah. You good, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, all praise. So now, read that again. Start over. Behold, thou hast instructed many. The Lord said you didn't instruct many. You didn't probably told people that they was Israel. Probably told them, hey, we don't supposed to be eating that pork. Hey, man, you know, this, this day is the Sabbath, right? You instructed many on the righteousness of the Lord, right? Read it. And thou hast strengthened the weak hand. And it might have been time where somebody literally needed to hear exactly what you said to them, pertaining to the scriptures or just pertaining to the knowledge of who we are, right? Read it. Thy words have upholding him that was fallen. See that? You, you, you don't know what you didn't did here and there by telling somebody they Israel. Telling somebody, this is why that happened. Oh no, we curse. The, the Native Americans, they curse. Hispanics, they curse. You don't know what type of effect that could have had on somebody's life. So watch this. Read. And thou hast strengthened the feeble knees. Uh -huh. But now it has come upon thee. Now your trials, your tribulations. You putting off your sin that came upon you. Now it's your turn to do that, read. And thou faintest. And you faint. You fall off. You don't do it. Right? The Lord said he needs brothers to rise up. Give me Matthew 22 and 14. He don't, he, bro, you understand how many, the high portion that you are and understand who you are? You got multi-million dollar churches, all type of pastors who can't get the small understanding of the Bible. But clearly the Lord didn't let you then let it seep with you to the point where you know who you are. But you can't be going off like that and then trying to justify your sin or say whatever. Now, it's one thing to battle with something, but to try to justify this evil is hell, bro. Right? Read that. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 14. Read. For many are called. The Lord said that many are called. Many are called to get the understanding, but what? But few are chosen. But few are chosen to rule this planet. You are chosen to raise their people up to a greater state. You understand? You are chosen to do that thing. Get uh, second half to 13, 14. But it's a it's a roadmap to what you gotta do, bro. So we ain't up here just to tell you, listen, just stop doing that cold turkey or you a demon. That's condemned. But what we tell you is, bro, if you continue to keep doing what you're doing, knowing who you are, the Lord gonna bring swift punishment upon you, man. And me personally, just knowing you these couple minutes and seeing your spirit, I wouldn't want it to happen. But the Lord don't deal like that. He don't have no respect to person. He don't say just because he taught a couple people, he good. If you keep going against what the Lord said, you keep purposely doing it, the Lord gonna tear your ass up. Like, let me ask you a question. When did you get that pot? You buy that pot today? going off. Huh? That's what I'm saying about our people, bro. We love to, 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 we love the symbolism of being in the truth. We like calling each other out. We like saying that, no, 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 no. I mean, well, we know that pop is healthy, but I'm talking about the buying and selling on the Saturday, right? But, hold on, let me read this good job. Some people call it Saturday, some say it's Sunday, some say it's Right. What the Bible say though? It says follow the stars and moons in different parts. Now I got that's what I'm saying. It's a 
not, not a conflict, but it's a people understand that I don't possess. That I can't say, well, it's the Sabbath, the Saturday, or the Sabbath tomorrow the Sabbath on the moon. On the moon schedule. That. They said man had to store the time. So that's time good. There's no more to say. We understand that, but I'm going to show you something that's heavy about the Lord. He going to always give us ways to understand what time period we're in, how to adjust, things of that nature. Watch this. Well, hold up. Let's deal with the, the basic stuff first, right? Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Read. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. But the Lord, like you said, we will forget it. We would go by what people call the Gregorian calendar. We would go off into captivity. We would leave our customs, right? But the Lord said, remember the Sabbath day. Still acknowledge it once you wake up to know who you are. Read. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. And do all thy work. Go but ahead. the seventh day. But the what? Seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Now the Lord said the seventh day is the Sabbath for the Lord thy God. Get Judges 5 and 11. So you know what's important about that? When we deal with our captivity, right? The Lord said, well, what did the Lord say about our captivity? That we would have to get what? No, get uh, hold where you at. No, you can drop the extra. Hold that uh, the Judges 5 11 and get Deuteronomy 28 and 48. It's something that we would have to depend on these people for on all levels. You understand what I'm saying? So even when we come to celebrating certain holidays, things like that, we can only do a particular day. So watch this first. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. The Lord said that, like you know, we were going to serve our enemy. For what? Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger uh -huh. and in thirst uh -huh. and in nakedness and in want of all things. In want of what? All things. No, something. All things. No, just the things I want. All things. The brother said in all things. So even when it comes to the days of the week, we would have to go on that phone and pull it out. Damn, what's the last day? Okay, what's the first day? Boom. So what's the first day on the calendar that we go by now? Give me Judges 5 and 11. Huh? Sunday. Sunday. So now I'm going to show you why we observe that. Right? Watch this. Judges chapter 5 and verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the place of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. The Lord said that we would rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Meaning, yes, yeah, it's certain information we're not privy to, but we can under, we can count one to seven. So when we see the calendar and we see that the first day is Sunday, the last day is Saturday, because we have to do what? Rehearse the righteous acts. We're going to rehearse it righteously to the best of our ability. Why? Because we may have to depend on them for everything. Come to the damn Sabbath today, bro. And stop breaking the damn Sabbath, bro. Stop doing that, man. Hey, stop. One more thing, bro. Man, throw that damn black and mild, bro. At least for me. At least for me, throw that motherfucker in the street. Stump it out. Stump it out. Step on it. Come on. Step off. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Mashaba. Uh uh. Get that on camera. Mashaba ain't serious. That's more important than his life. Right. Damn. I, if I was you and I was and I was sincere, the Lord said, make hate. I'll throw that damn uh, cigar down and I'll pour it. There we go. There we go. Now, now, hey, 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 I'm a, I'm, right, hey, now I'm at right. Now I'm asking something else for that damn pop out that you uh, bought on the Sabbath. Can I get you? <laughs> huh? All right, bro. All right, all friends. He says, hi, we got cold water. Right, we got cold water for the right. Right? And that's, and that's the example that we out here to set for our people, man. Repentance is small steps. Small steps. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. 
from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.